Hi, welcome back all of you, Nana here. In this session, uh, we are going to have a look at uh, the credit check for the customers. So some customers may not be credit worthy. They may even run away with the material actually. So in such cases, we have to put a limit on them and then do it now. Fine, I'll now go on and have a look at it now. Fine, now go right on. We'll now go to set up and maintenance. <clears throat> and then we will now create the check credit check limits now. Fine, we'll go there, click on the search. You go to the manage customers. So we'll now go to the manage customers. <clears throat> I already created a customer. So let us now go on and query the customer, C01. So this is the customer actually. Select it. And then uh, this is the account level actually. You go there. This is the account level. And then this is the site level actually. So click on the account level of the customer or the selected customer, click on the account and click on the account. Now, directly go to the profile history. We will now go to the profile history and then edit the profile. Go to actions and then go to correct the record. I'm now going to correct the record. So we are correcting the record of the customer. Record. Good. Now, I will now include him in credit check. And then this guy is credit worthy only for $100. Right? Order amount limit is $100. And then uh, he may place multiple sales orders for $60, $70, etc. And all orders put together, he is not worth beyond all. Right? It is a cumulative one for all the rest. And then this is the individual. So we are now including many credits. And then we are now put these limits actually. Right? Because the credit worthiness of the customer comes into picture for the CSR actually. Right? You're not doing it. Right? So click on save and close. You're done again. So right click and then duplicate. And then we will now create a new sales order for this customer. So click on it. So go to the manage orders. We are going to create a new sales order. And click on create order. So we are now creating a new sales order for the customer. So it's C01. And then I will now put the customer over here. Click on it. And then I will now put one of the items actually. We are now created multiple items over here now. So let us now go there and then put one item. Fine. C0102. I am now putting it now. Click on it. Yeah. Now he is going to buy more than hundred dollars actually. Let us see what happens. So go there. I will not go for one fifty quantities. So the total amount. I am going to all items price of one dollar. That's why one is coming. I click on the add down. No hundred. And now I go there. I go to the supply area and then give the warehouse actually. Go to the supply. And then I am going to give a warehouse of what C zero one. And then I will say child. So once when I submit it. Since he is asking for more than $100, he is not credit worthy. So what happens if you submit it, it will automatically go into a hold. Actually. The system will now create a hold. A credit check hold will be created. And then there will be a hold icon which will also be coming over here. Both the things will be So it will not progress further at all because it needs a credit check. So what is submitted? So you can now see a hold icon is coming as well as an X mark is also coming. If you click on the hold icon, right, on hold, it will now say it is a credit check hold actually that's been applied upon when the whole date is there. And then if you click on the X mark, it will now tell you what is the nature of this problem actually it is unable to progress upon. Now the CSR will not talk to the customer. Right? The CSR will not talk to the customer. Are you are not credit worthy for $150. So why don't you make an advance payment of $100? So then what happens? The customer has agreed and then he will now make a payment of $100. AR will now apply the credit actually. Apply the payment actually. But once when the payment is applied, the system will not automatically release the hold action. It has to be manually only released. There is no other way. In EBIS as well as in Fusion, what happens if we go there? We only have to manually release the hold. So we're not going to release the hold. Go there. I'll not drop down the, the credit check hold. I'll not go to, I'll not say, what happens? Release with that. Release from admin hold or whatever it is, not fine. Release from credit check hold. Go there. <coughs> manually released. But what happens, there will be some mall practices which will be happening actually. Because the CSR might have taken some money from the customer and then uh, even though he has not made a payment, what happens, this guy will be releasing it and then shipping the material. So it is a risk and then he feels that this customer will not run away. He is not very confident. So he takes some money and then he will not release it. And then uh, later on, if a problem comes, he is ready to face it. Right? These are all the things which are happening normally. Right? Because I can close now. <clears throat> So he is now manually releasing it. So the request is not done. Fine. Once when it is done, what happens? You can now see 
the X mark, the hold has gone, and then the X also will come to the pressure one here. It will be. It also gone. And then there's no processing. So it is not progressing on the sales order actually. Now, the next step of holding, go there. Well, now go there, click on it. Well, now go down, no, back, click on it. Click on it. Now, this customer is a new customer. Right? He's a new customer. I will go to the profile history and then go to the action and go to character. He's a new customer. And then all new customers will be invariably put on a hold. So what I will do is I will not include any amount at all. Fine. I will not remove the credit check. I will not remove the amount. Fine. Whatever he asked for. Fine. Because he is a new customer and then we don't know. So a credit check hold, a credit hold will be applied upon any sales orders. Fine. It is irrespective of the amount. So we are not including any credit check. But a hold will be getting automatically applied because he is new to us and then we are not aware of him. So we he need to pay in advance. Right? Or seventy five percent advance or whatever it is, the management fixes. It. So a hold is now applied. Now whatever he asks for, we go that one. We now go on that data manager. So I click on that now. Whatever he asks for, it will be put on a hold actually, because he is a new customer. Since the management is not aware of it, they may even ask a hundred percent advance or sometimes seventy five percent advance depending on the company actually. We go that. He now going to ask only one quantity. Right? C zero one zero two. Do it. I have now. You know, we're going to ask only one quantity. One day, one day, one day, one day, I want. Right? Click on add. Then this also automatically going on hold. Right? Go to the supply area. <clears throat> and then here, I will not put the warehouse in C01. So the warehouse is not put in there. Now, if I submit it, this will be going automatically under hold because he's a new customer. So management will love to have an advance, 100% advance, 75% advance, 80% advance, depending on the company. company. For all new customers, the hold, put it on hold upon booking actually. So it has been the amount, what happens? The hold will be applied actually. So once it is applied, you cannot see what happens. It's not done. You cannot see the hold is getting applied. <clears throat> the hold is applied. Right. So the credit check hold has got applied actually. Because he is a new customer and then we are not doing it. Now uh, they have now asked for some uh, pay advanced payments and then he has done it now fine. And then they will now communicate to CSR. Yes, now what happens? You can release the hold actually. So the CSR will go there and click on the release hold. You have not do it. Go there. <clears throat> Drop down. One of the credit check hold <clears throat> and then go there. So what happens is now say uh, release from credit check hold and then what happens is give a reason. <clears throat> right. Customer paid in advance or even 100% uh, advance. So paid 100% advance. So for some person, what happens is we may be going to ask for 100% advance because he is new to us. So we don't know the credibility of the customer. Fine. The concept of close by which whatever the hold gets released actually. <clears throat> so go there. Like, and then you can now see both the hold as well as the X mark will go away. So the X mark has gone, the hold also will go away. No point. Go, 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 gone. So this is another way. I will not go to the manage customers and then when they go there. I will not remove this. No point. Click on it. Not remove the hold. So uh, I will not go to the place. I will not go to action. I will not go to character record. I will not remove the hold. Now, you may not be applying a hold directly, right? either a credit check limit or otherwise a credit hold, you not do it. But you may apply a hold based upon the needs, actually. Right? So click on seven course. So what we do is we go there and then we will now create a hold code, actually. Right? Manage percentage point, hold percentage point, hold percentage. So manage hold course. We will now go to the manage hold course and then create a hold, actually. So click on plus no fine. I will now make a shipping hold actually C01. Because of certain reasons, what happens we would like to hold it. Go there, click on the name no fine. Please. Description is this. And then go there. And then here you go further no fine. Normally it will be a common set actually. You know, go there. Common set is the one. So we'll be using it in a common set actually. Common set is that. So go there. So we have now created one shipping hold actually. Click on seven points. Now let us go there and then create a new sales order. Click on that. This time no hold will be applied. You click on sales order. There will not be any hold at all for the customer. But we can apply a hold at any stage on the processing of it. We can even have an invoice holding point. There are so many holds that are available. So see, zero one, zero two, go there. This time he is asking for two quantities, not two quantities. He is asking for you know, add it. I will not go to the place, I will not provide the supply submitment report. So C01, child one is the one. Now, once when you submit it, it will not go into a hold at all. Fine. So go there, click on submit. So it will not go into a hold at all. 
So on the other day, we have not seen about how to set up the order number now fine is uh, 2 lakh 3 actually. 2 lakh 3 is order number fine. Technology. Now I will now go to the fulfillment area. There is no processing, no hold is applied. Good actions and go to switch to fulfillment view. So in the fulfillment view, what happens? It will be getting interface to shaping execution. You go to the fulfillment lines, then have a look at it now. And then click on the do number now. Click on the do number. It will not show everything. Click on the do number. It will not show that it is now progressing now. <laughs> the do number you can also see that it will be scheduled and then it will be reserved. And then finally, what happens? It will be awaiting shipping actually. So go there, click on the question. It is not scheduled. It is also reserved and then it will not progress to awaiting shipping. So I would like to apply a shipping hold on this. I will not like to apply a shipping hold when awaiting shipping is on. So what I do is I will not go to the fulfillment lines. Uh, because of certain reasons, what happens? I don't want to ship it all. I, go there, I will not select the line. I go to actions and then what happens? I will not. What happens? This is not possible. There is no such hold allowed. And give it uh, what happens? Uh, done. And then come back to one level now. Right? No, no, one back, one level back. Now. Uh, in this place, what happens? You go there, go to actions. And then we will not apply hold. Fine. This is also not available. So we'll not go back one more level. Now, fine. Click on done and then come back one more level. And go, not coming now, fine. Go on. So here, what happens? You go there. In this place, double click. We can even do in this also. Fine. I, I think it's possible actions and then what happens? You go to switch to fulfillment view. So in this place, what happens on the line level? We can very well do it actually. So go the order lines. You have to go to the order lines, not fulfillment lines. You go to the order lines. In the order lines, you select it and then you can apply a hold. And go to actions and then go to apply hold. So we are applying a hold now. Fine. Come on. So go there. The whole name is what? C01. I already created so many roles. C0. And then I click on it. C. <clears throat> click on search. No. I know there are so many folks. C01. I know. Apply a shipping code. Fine. Click on search. So I know. In a manual hold or a shipping code, you can apply it. Mm -hmm. Fine. So go there. And then click on save and close. So once the hold is applied, you can now see that what happens. Uh, it will be done. Fine. Click on it. Click on it. Okay, you can see your hold up here. So now when you try to pick release and then pick confirm and then ship confirm, it is not possible. Pick release, pick confirm, ship confirm, nothing is possible till the hold is released. So he may be discussing with the shipping in charges because of certain reasons what happens that they are now preventing it from what happens going out of the country actually. So there's what else. <clears throat> For example, the onions, the export has been stopped by the government of India. So you should not ship onions out of country. So the CSR has now put a hold. Actually. So don't pick it. And then don't uh, what happens? Uh, don't do the pick release, pick confirm, ship confirm, nothing you do. So till uh, they get a guidance from the government. So they may even do like that. So there are so many reasons because of which what happens? The CSR may be able to vote. So now what happens? They found that it is okay. We can release it. Go to actions, and then what happens? The release okay. So go there. So go to the place and drop it down. Release reason now. Fine. There is a shipping code to the hold which is now fine. Go there. Click on it. Drop it down. And then put the appropriate reason. <clears throat> release from picking hold and whatever it is now. Fine. Shipping hold or the shipping code. Release, release some shipping instructions hold. I mean, whatever is whatever is applicable, you can do it. Fine. This is only for information purposes. It doesn't have any functionality. Seven close. Do not have. And then go there. Now the hold will go away. Now we can very well pick and ship this product. So these are the three many ways of applying a hold actually. Fine. So bye for now. And then we will now meet on some other video and then learn something else also. Fine. Bye.